Greetings and welcome back to Anno 2070. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am joined by the ever industrious Caladorn. Um, your city is looking uh, very overclouded, but very upgradable. What do you mean overclouded? Uh, well, there's some there's some slight pollution in the air. There's these like little nope. sort nope. of brownish. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay. Look at, look at just... the eco balance. <laughs> No, seriously. Look at the Ecobalance. It's a zero, yes, yep. I, but I still... You know what? It's just remnants of what could have been there. You know what? I think it's methane. You have destroyed all of the, um, the trees, and so they're not soaking up the methane, so all the cows and deers that are walking around are just um, generating extra gases that seem to be floating above your uh, your, your good city here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. All right. If I, you say so. I have to... <laughs> Oh dear! I need, well, uh, there and uh, there are deer. That's that's the rough part. Um, I'm actually at a point where I need to keep counting all of the little grid bits. But I'm I, it's, I think it's going to be okay because I um, I have done this half year, of I'm the whole thing, so it's not too bad in my too. Uh, area here. So I'm going to just continue with that. Okay, let's just do this one. I'm just upgrading oh, houses okay. at the moment, which is uh, Ooh. not very uh, entertaining, but it has to be done. <laughs> Indeed. Ooh, did I slightly mess this up? I hope not. No goods available. Oh, negative. Oh, dear. She's upset with our transporting of goods. That doesn't sound very nice. It's because the ship right, is full. Is... Ah, well, that makes sense. Interesting. Um, One of my messages mm -hmm. is that you have left the game. I have left the game? Yes. Oh, well then. <laughs> I'm not aware of leaving the game. No. Um, uh, the underwater thing that you've built is out of power, it would seem. Ah. Well, it's okay because I'm not actually using it uh, at the moment. So I, uh, I won't worry too much about that. Is this this one? I think that's that one. Okay. Um, Two, three. Okay. Oh, there's extra roads here. How nice. Okay. What is the... Is it B or V? Aha, V. I'm playing so many games that I can't remember the hotkeys for so many of them. What? It's kind of bad. I can't remember the hotkeys for many of the games um, because I'm playing several at once. Yeah, but what, so what hotkey would you, were you looking for? I was looking for bulldoze. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Ah. Yeah. Well, I found it though. That's good. Yeah, we we've both been playing the colonists recently, and uh, that's a fun thing. Another city builder. Oh yes. Really okay. enjoyable game. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's like uh, the settlers, right? You've played the settlers before. I've played all of the settlers games. Yes. Ooh. That's nice. I haven't played any of them, I'm ashamed to say, um, because I never really knew about them, I think, at the time they came out. Um, no goods available. Yeah, that's but. really strange that you haven't played the Settlers games, because it's definitely a game that would be up your alley, I think. Hmm. I wonder if I should make uh, try some. I know there's a new Settlers coming out uh, soonish. Yes, it looks to be quite similar to uh, the original uh, Settlers 2. Which mm -hmm. probably Settlers two and three were probably the best ones in the series. Ooh. That sounds really neat. What did you like best about the Settlers two and three? Oh, the hard work like what laundry. like what game Everything aspects were the most great. attractive to you? That's a really hard question to answer, to be honest. <laughs> it might just be nostalgia. Ah uh, yes. Oh I know that gaming nostalgia very, very well, trust me. I, I can't um... The game mechanics in Settlers 2 and 3 were just good, I guess. I played mm -hmm. the Settlers 2 Anniversary Edition and it was still very enjoyable. And mm -hmm. that came out around the time they released the... This year, what would have been Settlers 5, but I don't remember the name of it. Something Heritage forward. of Kings or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. Yeah, somebody mentioned that to me that I should pick that up. Uh, it's on GOG, I think. Um, Which one? And it looks like a lot of fun. Settlers 2, the anniversary edition. Yeah. 
it would give you a fairly decent uh, view of what the Settler series actually were about. Oh, that's cool. I, I, that sounds like a, a lot of fun. I think I would enjoy that. Inefficient trading route. No goods available. Mm, three. Aha! I have managed <laughs> to put the roads correctly. Excellent. Eight. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Good. I have to say, I'm really excited about all of these like city building games coming back to us. Um, it's uh, very, very exciting to me that we're getting uh, sort of either remakes or new versions like, you know, Anno it has having a new one. Settlers is having a new one. So it's just it's it's fun. Yeah, of course, they're probably going to have some uh, quality of life upgrades, but I'm oh, also very so. happy that yes. they are uh, returning these games to the... Uh... Why do I have... Oh, because of my house upgrades, of course. Okay, so this is there. All right. One, two... It's funny because I, I keep remembering like my old favorite games like Pharaoh I played to death. Man, that was good. And um but then I played it later and it was really crazy. Um and I didn't really enjoy it as much uh when I played it like after its own time period. I still enjoyed Maybe playing Pharaoh. Actually. It's a very good game. I think when my copy though is when I played it on my faster system the game went like super speed, so I guess I need a different version of the game. <laughs> you can get the one just... on GOG, but oh, I should do that. that doesn't really matter. Definitely. It shouldn't go in super speed as long as you just you just need to pick the correct speed setting. I think it was was it tied to the the CPU though, uh, at some point? Because that's that's what I'm thinking happened yes, to it. But you still just need to select the correct speed setting in the game that it actually. Could, you used to play it at 100% speed back then, but you don't do that today. You play it ah, at like 70% okay, okay. speed or something. Okay, gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. Let's see. There we go. I didn't even think about doing that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I really enjoyed the uh, Sierra City Building series. That was so much fun. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that Tilted Mill, which was the... Uh, I guess you could call it the drop-off uh, of the people who used to uh, make those games. I think mm -hmm. it was Impression Games or something that that company yeah. was called. I'm really sad that they went out of business. Yeah, that's a shame when that happens. Hmm. Should I registering energy shortage? Huh. Okay, should I add another city center somewhere? I think I might need to. Hmm. This one is that one. So I do need to keep on building there. Do I have this whole area covered though? Yeah, I do. Okay. Shouldn't be too horrible. Should be fine. Let's see. What on earth have I done here? Did I build that thing on the wrong location? Oh, that, that's not gonna go well. Trouble in your urban paradise. 
no trouble on my production island. Oh no! I was measuring wrongly. Hmm. Okay, so that's there. Get one, two, three, four, five. There's five. Okay. And then I need a road. Ah. Go. There we go. Much better. Energy supply inadequate. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Four, five. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five. Aha! And then we can place another city center. Good. Oh dear. <gasps> no. Okay, it'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> I mismeasured the roads on one side. I think I haven't uh, done the full top part of the city yet, so I just um, made a slight error, but it'll be good. It's all good. Here we are. Come on, game. Register, please. There we go. Warning. Production halted. One, two, three. Oh, yes, of course, it's not symmetrical. That's okay, though. All right, I'm on the home stretch. I'm very excited to be at the home stretch so I can finally finish this, all these measuring bits and stuff. It's going to be exactly Transport the same point as this. Negative. How? Hmm? No, I, I seem to be doing all kinds of mistakes now. <laughs> it's one of those days, huh? Have I made oh, that road too long? One, two, three. Indeed I have. Need for community not met. I seem to have also made a big error, which I have no idea what it is about at the moment. Um... That's this one. Up to here. Ah, there it is. Okay, so it's just a tiny mistake, I hope. Oh, this one goes this way. I need one more house here. There we go. Alright. Build that one there. Ha! Now that's that's what we're talking about. This is good, much better. I think I can delete this depot now. There we go. Game save. The roads in instead. Ah! Now our people have room to stretch their legs, go for a nice walk. Yes, much better. There we go. Oh, look at this. It is looking so nice, this city. Now I have to go and redo some of this bit. I'm just going to have to be merciless and tearing stuff down. But the citizens will understand, I'm quite sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One can always I hope. Yes, I've built all kinds of nice new huts for them to live in. Those uh, skyscraper dwellers will just have to, to live with it and uh, suffer onward. It'll be fine, though. Yes. Do you actually think that the skyscra skyscraper dwellers move? You mean they're just sent back to the void or wherever they come from? Probably. <laughs> I would hope they move. Oh, no. leaving the city. Dear. I mean, they're leaving the city, clearly, so I don't think that they're moving. I think they're leaving the city. Oh, well, yeah, that could be. I mean, hmm. 
They could they could be slightly unhappy with how things are. Yes, these people are definitely unhappy with how things are. All right, guys, I need to remove you. Sorry. Let's just uh, delete your homes while we still can. Um, it's hard to tell what I can move and not move. I think I have to just delete all of these, actually. There we are. Okay, so this one... Okay, so that means that I have 32 of these. That's good, I suppose. Uh huh. And one, two, three. is not going to be good so I just need to do it the same way all right folks your entertainment's gonna go soon oh that one, that one is actually wrong take this one out so these people are going to be mightily unhappy about this whole situation if I move this it's got to go what you moving oh just the center of the city which I was I was trying to preserve as many residents could but <laughs> they're all out of alignment and and stuff so it's kind of pointless um, to do that yeah that wouldn't be any point in doing indeed Okay, so let's just get rid of this and figure out what we want to do here. We need how many of these tiles? Double ones? One, two, three, four, five, and six all together. Two, three, four, five, six. Transport of goods on trading route. Negative. Yes, yes, we know. <laughs> I wonder how much she's going to bother me about that. Let me just check. Check that. Let's see. Uh, which one is this category in transport of goods? Okay, so I have the spot for that. Economy. Okay, so I'll just remove economy and she'll stop bothering me about transport of goods. You can click the little cogwheel news filter and remove the economy if you don't want her to bother you about that all the time. Oh! Okay, cool, thank you. That's going to be very useful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's quite bothersome, this one. It's like, oh, we've had enough, Yana. Please, please. Well, that wasn't Yana, that's Eve. Oh, that's Eve. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. It was, well, both of them can be <laughs> slightly more annoying than we would wish, I guess. Yana can be very, very uh, annoying, yes, but that's because she's an eco. Are you saying that all the eco people are um, are annoying? I hope not. So I, I don't think that I'm annoying. Surely not. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh huh. Yes. Can I can I just uh, refrain from commenting on this issue? <laughs> yes, you can. Excellent. Then we're in agreement. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh boy, boy, boy. I seem to be out of tools. Again. Hmm. Anything else I need up here? Should be fine. My people are very excited for the upcoming building of the city center. I, I, I can tell they're excited. <laughs> How can you tell that they're excited? Um, they're leaving your city. I'm trying. They're leaving my city. <laughs> I'm puzzled well, at your definitions of excitedness. It's, 
Yes, I, I suppose they can't help themselves. They're so thrilled that they, they just can't wait any longer and they have to just, um, they have to abandon uh -huh. all the, uh, <laughs> yes, apparently. <clears throat> Would be amusing if the eco-citizens found the eco-leaders so annoying that they wouldn't want to live with them. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, that, that might, might, might be slightly amusing. Uh, oh, what is going on here? <clears throat> what is this? Whole thing. I think I have something misaligned here. Oh yeah, it's that road. There we go. That was looking better. Slightly better, maybe. That one goes there. Oh. Well, this isn't right at all, is it? There we go. There we go. I think your method of doing the city building is much better than mine. I uh, I think I definitely should have just destroyed the entire city first before um, redoing it because that just created a lot of confusion in the, uh, the upper part of the city. The reason I do it is to not let my brain get overly confused, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mine is doing that at the moment, which is not ideal. But I'm almost done, which is great. That's uh, an exciting thing. I hope I'll finish by the end of the episode. And then I'll be able to move on to more exciting things. Okay, need these. One, two, three. 110. Wow. Oh, yay. It's time for Catholic Moss. Hmm. I love to hear the church bells ringing. I hope the audience loves to hear them too. <laughs> They're nice. It's just like it's like a sound of real life. Cool. It's, it's like a sound pleasant. of real life. Yes, um, I don't have any sounds of real life where I live, and I, that's by choice. I chose to live in a place that's very, very quiet. Um, but still, it's uh, it's kind of charming to hear your sounds of your real life. You know. Mm hmm. Because not everybody has a church near their house. No, no. But not everybody has multiple churches near their house, either. <laughs> Where I live, the churches are miles and miles and miles away, and they don't have bells either, so it's, it's really lovely to hear that. I mean, for me at least. Oh, do we care about this? Oh! Oh, dear me. I seem to have forgotten to collect goods from the, the thingy majingy. Oh dear. I should put this here instead. Um, I'm surprised nobody mentioned that actually. That I forgot to hook up this mine with uh, a storage place, a depot. That's not ideal. Mm. No, it's not. Not at all. Yes, I think this island is self-sufficient at the moment. I should be bringing the eco balance back to almost zero, which probably is a good thing for an island doing farming, which was at minus 204 or something now. Dear. The efficiency... that, that does affect the production, though, doesn't it? Yes, the efficiency on the farms were down to 80-something. Now it's at 91. Wow. Uh, I'm getting it back to 100% because the tycoon buildings have a lot higher threshold for uh, bad eco balance. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have habit. criminals in my city. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I like this idea. Of, well, uh, they are going to be repressed. They're going to be repressed, okay. I'm going to start upgrading my city center buildings. So do you need a certain am amount of uh, higher level citizens to build the uh, the wonder, the monument in the center, or...? No, you can you plop it down money. now if you want to, but... Uh, I don't recommend it. Why not? Well, for starters, uh, you're going to try to upgrade your city. When you actually start... I mean, my monument is standing still, because I'm not doing anything with it, because that is a bad idea. 
because if I start doing anything with my monument, my island is going to be continually drained for tools and uh, building modules for the first stage, and for the second stage it's going to empty out the concrete and uh, mm -hmm. another thing, and on the third stage it's going to empty out the steel and another thing, and I don't remember which one. Okay. What I'm wondering is, like, so if I want to provide services to my citizenry so they can upgrade their places, do I just put those, like, on the edge of the city? Or, uh, because, you know, the monument, you told me that it provides all of uh, the, the needs for the city, like the entertainment stuff, right? Yep. So you'll have to, uh, you have criminals in your city as well. So you'll have to build concert halls mm -hmm. and tear down a few buildings every here and there. And you'll have okay. to build uh, convention centers and so forth inside the okay. city, not just at the edges. Okay. Um, so when is the appropriate time to build the city center then? Alert. Well, the monument that I have... Will cost you a fortune. Yeah, go away, Skylar. The the city center that I or this the monument that I have built in the center of my city now doesn't do anything because it's just a construction site. So if you look around in my city, you will find the casinos, you will find the financial centers, and so forth. Uh huh. Oh, okay, I see them. As soon as the monument is done, you can tear down all the city centers, you can tear down the casinos, and you can tear down the financial centers in my city at least. Uh, but I will not tear down the Ministry of Truth buildings because yep. that would cost me a pretty penny in taxes or us. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have mine as well up. You um, might want to build a police station, you know, since you got <laughs> criminals maybe. going uh, on down there. Station. Oh, yes, I probably should do that. Let's see, where are those? Fire station, hospital, police station. Yeah. Okay, where are those criminals? Hey, criminals. Yo, you don't belong here. Go away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to need, now I'm providing enough hamburgers for the city and more. Mm. Which means that I need to provide more... Mm. Plastic, right, okay, nice. Which means I need a mere pittance of 30 oil wells, wells. right, okay. I might need to get more tools then, because I certainly don't have... The global trust fleet, are you? No, I'm not interested in the Global Trust fleet, go away. <laughs> Go away, do not bother me, I'm not interested. Okay, concert halls, let's just get these guys happy ish. Registering decrease in crime. Oh, I can build more houses here, good. Okay, so what else do I need here? Remember to tear down the police station halls. again. Okay. Since we're actually running at a high deficit at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right, now we have education Green network we've got. Seat. What else? Ah, Green Boulevards, Congress Center. Oh. oh. This is actually a different kind of road. Oh, it is. Oh, that's pretty. The eco road is very nice, but keep in mind that it's much more expensive to build the boulevard. Mm -hmm. I'll just do the city center for now. I won't do the whole thing. Okay, what else we need? Congress centers, right? I probably would have done. Hey. Well then, this is going to be. Thank you. But she should be. <laughs> She's actually so thanking you. <laughs> yes. Never mind. She's thanking I'm fine. us. <laughs> uh huh. Um, yeah, this doesn't fit very well. If I rotated this that way... Then you can rotate that first. that way, and you can turn that this way, and everything <laughs> will be the correct way. That sounds really good. I like this plan. <clears throat> yes. Good. <laughs> we are also nearing the point where we probably should end the episode. 
Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Um, all right, I will continue my uh, my forays into upgrading my peoples later then. And... Mm -hmm. Yes, that sounds good. <laughs> so, uh, I won't be taking us out anywhere, I'm afraid. No? You can have a cup, like oil, a, nice a cup of oil, though. <laughs> a cup of oil. A cup of oil. Okay. Well, um, I I guess we'll we'll figure out something to do with that. Um, in any case, thank you everyone for joining us. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you next time. See you all next time.